So, welcome. Uh, you'll have to forgive the noise. Um, we have our uh, cells recharging from the discharge test video that we did uh, earlier today. And uh, what I wanted to do is bring you back to take a look at this charger again. This is when I was the, the charge slash tester or battery tester electronic load, as it's called. Uh, again, just want to let you know that this is one of the items that um, the off-grid garage, what Andy is using for his battery capacity tests. And I went ahead and picked up one of these as well. And just to let you know, they do... When you get this unit in, if it's like mine did, when they ask you whether you want the 110 or the 220 version, which I did, I just did specify the 110 version. Uh, if you'll notice in the previous video, uh, the plug they sent with it is not a U.S. or I should say stateside plug. That is a standard 220. That is a 220 configured outlet. Uh, so it got me a little bit concerned and also... You'll notice the sticker on the side of it uh, still states 220 plus minus 10 percent. Uh, now, obviously, we use 110 here in the states, and I specified 110 when I placed the order. But just to let you know that inside the unit, and yes, I've voided my warranty by taking the unit apart, so I don't suggest that you do this. But you'll notice the main power supply in here is rated for 110, 220, 50 to 60 hertz. It's a 5 volt DC output at 60 amps, uh, and that's exactly what we were looking for. So 110, 50 hertz, or I'm sorry, 110, 60 hertz for those here in the U.S. Uh, and the unit does power up fine. I uh, just want to let you see this to confirm with you. See, absolutely no issue so far. We'll continue to test it now. I did notice when mine came in, and I will email them about this. Of course, I have taken the support, so it has voided my warranty. So if it is, so be it. But uh, you'll notice the front here is kind of caved in where it took a pretty good hit in shipment. And also the display has been shattered right here in the center. Now, from what I've seen of these online, and again, with Andy's use, it looks like we can just plug this up to the computer and drive this through the computer rather than using the, the front touch panel here. Uh, now, it's convenient to be able to use the front touch panel, obviously, so you don't have to have it hooked up to a computer. Uh, but I'm going to try this anyway. And like I said, I will contact them and let them know that the, this front display has been shattered and see if they'll be willing to send me a, uh, a new unit and or possibly just a replacement display. But in the meantime, I will get this hooked up to a computer, and as long as I can control all the functions of this unit through that PC, then we'll, I'll just use it in that capacity for now. Uh, but I just want to give you this little bit of an introductory video, kind of let you see the insides of this, that at least uh, when you order the 110 version, it does come with a power supply that is compatible for 110, 220, 50, 60 hertz. You will have to... You know, supply your own plug because what comes in the package won't work for us there here in the states but you can kind of see they got a nice big beefy heat sink in here more than likely for doing the load test or capacity testing when it's putting up upwards of a 40 amp load or potentially a 40 amp load across the battery looks like they've got a current shunt down there nestled in at the bottom and of course all your control electronics for the front panel as well as controlling the relays, the logic for the relays for the board down here at the bottom as well as your PC interface. So as long as the PC interface and this board didn't take too much of a hit that something on it is cracked, again we'll get it hooked up to a computer, run it through its paces and we'll just use it as that. And it looks like they may have a potentially a buck boost converter of some type I'm assuming that's probably a buck converter so awesome and uh, we'll progress with this and uh, we'll bring you back and let you know the kind of out uh, the final outcome of it and I'll let you know what the manufacturer says about me reporting this display being uh, 
damaged in shipment. And we'll talk to you later. Bye.